Hey guys, welcome to Curry Thoughts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add CSS to your Splunk dashboard. In this example, I have added CSS to my drop-down input of Splunk Classic dashboard. And as you can see, the input has a British color and is surrounded by a blue border. If I hover over it, the color of this particular uh, input changes and uh, also the font color changes. You can also see the font is different than the default Splunk. Now, if I also hover over the menu of this dropdown, I will see a new message. I am a hover message. And likewise, even if I change this particular uh, thing, the message and properties still remain. So let's see how to add this particular CSS with a little bit of uh, JS to customize our dashboards to look much prettier. Let's take a classic example. Then go to edit, source. In the in first we have to uh, track down the input which we want to edit. I have only one, so it's a drop down input. So first I'm going to add an ID to this particular input. ID would be my drop down. Once you have added this ID, you can use this ID to refer this particular, this particular input. You can add HTML tag in the field set. Actually, you can add these HTML tags within any panel in the entire dashboard. But I feel convenient in this example to show you within the input itself. In the HTML, simply add style. And... Uh, we are going to call our ID my drop down. Yes. Now, these are the properties which I want to occur in, uh, in to our input. So let's save it and see if these are being reflected. So you can see right now it has a blue border. The color of this particular um, icon uh, input has changed and uh, the font style has also changed. Let's go over and add the hover properties. We will use the same hover properties as we do in CSS, calling it by my drop down hover. And uh, we can again add the background color to change to let's say Coral. So whenever we hover over it, the background color will change and uh, font. Okay. And the color of the font is needed to be, yes, uh, yellow. So now if I save it, by default, it is a black and it's wheat. Now if I hover over it, the font changes to yellow and this changes to coral. Now let's add the hover property by which we can either explain what's written in the dashboard or anything else. For adding the properties, I need to go to my Splunk folder, C, Program Files, Splunk, sorry, Splunk, etc, apps. Now this the app which I'm going to choose will depend on which application you are adding your dashboard. I am adding it in search. So I go in search, the app server folder and the static of that app server. I will be adding a particular JS file which I have already added. Let me show you. So I will be, uh, I will be posting this particular CS, uh, JS code in the description below. So this is particular. This is the entire code which we will use in order to add hover properties to our input. Over here, this is my message which I want to display, and this is my ID of this particular dashboard. So I once pasted it. I have to do a Splunk restart in order to apply this particular JS file. Once this this is done, you will go back. To your script 
uh, sorry, you will go back to your dashboard, you will edit source and in the form you will mention about the script. My script name is, if you remember, my hover, my hover dot js. Right now I am directly defining this particular file because it is in the same location of this particular dashboard because the app is same. I will save it and now it needs a refresh. Once refreshed, I can see the color changing still exists and now the hover message is being displayed. So I hope you like this video and let me know what else you want in Splunk so I can prepare a good tutorial for you. In order to support me, please uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys.